Well, what, we thought what, you were what's your, your your thoughts on Netflix? I mean, they're giving deals. Not we just heard Tiffany Haddish just got a deal as well, and I mean, they're opening up things to comics, and you know, for them to open up a door like that. What are you? What are your, your honest thoughts about Netflix? Uh, I, well, everybody has to understand that Netflix doesn't have an opinion on stand up comedy. They base what they pay you by the amount mm. of ticket sales for your last tour. Yeah. Dude, the but last Netflix, time you Netflix was... don't call nobody. That's the joke. The joke is Netflix ain't giving me. First of all, Netflix ain't call you. Knock it off. <laughs> it's Coca Cola knocking on people's door to see what type of <laughs> beverage they having today. <laughs> So they go by those ticket sales. That's that's dope. What else could they go by? Yeah. What and I thought it was like popularity. What comedian don't think everybody can't wait for their next special? Mm. Mm. <laughs> who who don't think they got something to say? The fact of the matter is, what makes a great comedy special is if a hundred people talk at the same time that you talking. Are you saying something different than them people are saying? No. Mm. Because if you are, then you deserve a special. And if you don't, you're gonna find out you're not special. Mm. Because they're going to let you do your special, Gerard Carmichael, but nobody's going to watch it. Mm. They're going to let you be a star, Lil Rel, but you're ugly. <laughs> and white people don't believe white in ugly, ugly stars. They think you have to be somebody that women want to sleep with and men want to be. But because we black, they say, oh, you don't even deserve that. So you get Kevin Hart, Lil Rel, Gerard Carmichael, all in a row, Hannibal Burris, just dudes that no woman would talk to in Lenox Mall, something? let alone you making a movie stars. Why? Because you know ain't nobody gonna sleep with him. You only got Tiffany Haddish. She been doing comedy since she was 16. You can't tell me your favorite Tiffany Haddish joke. Why? Because she ain't done a tour yet. Mm -hmm. She ain't done a special. She has not proven the ability to tell jokes back to back for an hour to nobody. And they already ready to down Monique and up somebody mm -hmm. who has showed them Girls Trip. Did you think she wrote Girls Trip goofball? Right. Or do you think that was already a script and they handed it to her? It, it's up to you, whatever you want to believe. I, I'm the introduction to Tiffany Haddish in the movie School Dance. The clip for School Dance has been seen more times than the movie has. That's just a fact. Mm -hmm. But but the movie wow. Girl, the, the Girls Trip movie? Yes, ma'am. The one with that four, would... with, with three of our greatest black actresses in it. You right, mean that one? Right, right. But oh. I'm just saying, Tiffany Haddish. Ma'am, you could have Tiffany, had that role, yeah. and everything that happened would have happened unless you thought you were necessary to write the Saturday Night Live monologue. I'm Was a writer. She... I only care about what you write. I don't care about what you read. Everybody can read that can read. What did you think about the movie? Though? I I laughed from beginning to end. I felt like I thought it I was a like, great script when mm -hmm. I saw it in 2004. Right. Wow. In 2004. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I have it. <laughs> I'm, 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 but I'm, I'm so happy for her, though, because that's what it do. That, that that's baby, what it do. I, I tear up thinking about the break that her. she got and to see the, her do her thing. She, she passed 46 female Ooh. black comedians that I know personally that I put on tour hmm. who have a hard time getting a chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A after they had lined seven shows at a club for 2500 a week. But, but people so, like real, I'm, and that's why they that like Is that what her. they like? They, they love real. Oh, because everybody's real then, so don't trip. No, no, tip, they like Wherever Tiffany Wherever you Haddish at, under the sound of my voice, real. do you have a real co-worker? <laughs> right. Do you have a ratchet friend? Do you have right. a sister? Do you have a cousin? <laughs> do you have a nephew? Do you have a niece? Is they so ghetto? When did that become marketable? Knock it off. They like her because she want to sleep with a white man. That's why the only thing she said was I want to give it to Brad Pitt. The only thing before that in the movie with me is I, I slept with this white man and I got a white baby. She had a white husband for the 14 years she'd been doing comedy and then all of a sudden divorced him. Then said he abused her. Then wrote a book. Then said he didn't. And then now we're at Brad Pitt. So, hey, you can say whatever you want. She said she got a disease for JJ. Don't nobody check for that. I support Linnell, Melanie Camacho, Miss yep. Laura, I, all the people that got skipped over in the list between now and then. It's no shade to nobody. Yeah, Melanie's well take, taken in, yeah. too. People really love Melanie. I love the fact that you took her out on tour. Martin Lawrence took her out on tour. Chris Tucker took Melanie out on tour. And when she comes to Atlanta, she does well. That's well. not the point. The point but is. But she's not, the she's not is, there. The point is we are in the only business where, as a black woman, 
what you look like is not supposed to be held against you. And time and time again, they mm-hmm. show you that you can be sidetracked by anything light skinned. Mm. Mm. So knock wow. it off. guy that sits on top right now have taken advantage of all the money that I have. I've shot over 56 specials for the up-and-coming generation of comedy. Why? Because I'm trying to create opportunities for others. Rather than complaining about it, Mm -hmm. I'm fixing it. Mm. I'm putting my money where mouth is. Mm -hmm. I also take full responsibility for any and everything that I've done in the fucking business. Mm -hmm. Good or bad. My frustration with Cat Williams comes from, you keep pointing at Hollywood. Hollywood this, the white man, this, this, and this. When do you take responsibility for your actions? You had the shot. Cat was in that position at one you point. You were the guy. Yeah. You were set up to be the star. You didn't show up to work. You fucked off promo shoots. You fucked off your promo fucking uh, trips that they had set up for you. You became a risk to the studios, which is why the studios stopped fucking with you. Why was he a risk? He chose drugs. Oh, okay. Take responsibility for what you chose and say, you know what? I got to fix me and I'm going to come back and I'm going to stand up for comedy. Mm-hmm. So when you say Tiffany Haddish doesn't deserve or isn't really a comedian and these other women have worked hard, which they have. Mm-hmm. Shouts out to Melanie Cam- Camacho. Shouts out to Lou Nell. Mm-hmm. Shouts out to Leslie Jones, who are all underneath the umbrella of Cat Williams. Cat Williams, have you ever used your platform to fucking bring the people that were under you up? Mm. You haven't. So because you haven't, don't shit on those that now are. I've used my platform and I've brought my guys and girls up. Mm-hmm. The brand of Kevin Hart is a brand that's expanded so fucking far. Whether you like me or not, my presence of comedy will forever be felt because mm. I'm a fucking boss. Mm. I sit on the top of it and the opportunities I'm giving are the ones that I'm creating. Mm. So take responsibility for what you did. You fuck you. Nobody else did. You don't hear Chris Rock, Dave Chappelle, the Kings of Comedy, Seinfeld. You don't hear George Lopez, mm-hmm. Eddie Griffin. You don't hear fucking... Uh, uh, who who else can I go down the, the road of other comedians? Steve Martin, Martin Short. You don't hear Naive. the guys that got on top mm-hmm. and that made it by doing what they love complain about the people that are coming under them. Mm-hmm. The reason why is because they're happy with themselves. Mm. Don't blame everybody else for your shit. Don't shit on my sister light because you're not happy with your shit. This shit is earned. It's not given. I don't give a fuck if you're a Tiffany Haddish fan or not. It's earned. Mm-hmm. Tiffany Haddish got years in the game. It's not an accident that Tiffany Haddish got an opportunity to star in a movie. It's not an accident that that character popped in the movie. Written or not written, a character has to pop it. And he even acknowledged the years that you've put in before that. Now I want to ask That's you, Tiffany, because so you were very classy in your response on social media, because the first thing I thought was, that's effed up. What's Tiffany going to say? Because that has to be hurtful when somebody says something like that. Especially, I'm sure you were a fan of his... You know, at some point. I still am a fan of his. I think he's hilarious. So what did you think when you heard that before you responded? Well, I thought, I was like, dang, what'd I do to him? Did I fuck his man? And then I was like. (laughs) You're stupid. (laughs) You're funny. That's what I thought at first. (laughs) (laughs) That's what I always think. When people say mean things, I always think that because I figure it got to be, I must have took something from you. I must have did something to you. (laughs) And then I realized I never did nothing to that man. And, I, and then when I started like really listening to it, I was like, oh, he got his facts wrong. He's obviously not paying attention to me. And somebody must have been complaining to him about me mm-hmm. or whatever. And maybe he, he felt some type of way. I don't know. I, I just feel like, well, you know, it is what it is. I, I don't. I'm not tripping. I'm not mad. Right. I'm not upset. But did he apologize? Because we seen a picture there. Yeah, what's the first thing yeah, he, he said to you? He, he, he apologized. You. He said, listen, listen, listen. Let me explain what's going on. Mm-hmm. And then he explained himself. And then I was just like, well, you know. It, but what did he explain? Yeah, like, what kind this, of explanation can you He just said, I hate it. Huh? He just said, I hate it. No, he himself? didn't say did that. Did he say he was high? I want to step in because that? I'm going to let no. my sister keep it classy. Yeah. yeah. He just Somebody <laughs> kicked my sister ball over the fence. I want it back. It doesn't matter what he said. It doesn't matter what the apology was. So you didn't like the apology. It's not about the apology. And I want to get this very clear. I want to make it very clear. Cat Williams is an amazing, talented comedian, which is why I'm so frustrated. I sit from a fucking, from afar, and I admire the man's talent. Mm -hmm. I don't like that you said anything negative about a woman of color that's getting her shot. Mm. Say it to me. Say it to me. I'll take it all. Hate me. 
You do seem to be more offended listen, about this listen, than I've I, ever seen. I have, I have sat back. Mm-hmm. I have forever been the humble guy. Mm-hmm. I have time to not be humble today. Mm. I have time to fact check everything he said because the world of Cat Williams is a fictional world. Is he selling that let's many run, tickets? No, no, yeah, let's run this. No. Let's run this. <laughs> yeah. You know, no, I have to go I was like, no, yeah, he said on his last talk. <laughs> I was He's, like, when was she married to a white man? Mm-hmm. I went back. I Googled. I was like, because I know. I've been I pro- see- proposed to by a white man before okay. and then found out he was really black when we did that DNA test. But it is what it is. So you weren't married to a white man? No, no. I know been. that, but yeah. whatever. Now, yeah. got these tickets. Now, Kev, he said he sold yes. what, 2. 2. 4 million, 4 million tickets, tickets. False. on his last tour. False. That's more than Beyonce and Jay Z. Right? That's more than Justin Bieber and Justin Timberlake. <laughs> That's more than Billy Beyonce. Joel, the Eagles. That's more than Beyonce and Justin Timberlake combined. Okay, do you <laughs> understand how many tickets 2.4 million tickets are? Yes. Right now, right now, mm-hmm. all this stuff is is Googleable. Is Google? You can Google it. Mm-hmm. It's all fucking researchable information. I am sitting on 1.3 million tickets sold. Shouts out to all the comedians that have given me the opportunity to get here because I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing without them and their hard work. Mm-hmm. There is nobody close to me in ticket sales and comedy. And you on a worldwide I am, tour. I am worldwide. I am on par with the likes of your Bruno Mars, your Jay-Z and Beyonce. Okay? I'm up there with those people. So in comedy, it's unheard of to get those numbers. Mm-hmm. To throw out numbers like 2.4 million is ridiculous. That's false. It's not even close. Also, to say 15 consecutive 100 city tours is false. Where, what are you doing? So, so where did you do the new stuff? When did you ever work on something? Consecutive means in a row. Mm-hmm. Where? Where? There's a Forbes list mm-hmm. every year that comes out. Go back to 2007. Go back to 2006. Cat Williams has never been on it. Go back to my last five years in comedy. I have one year where I got number one. This year, I'll be number one again. I have one year where I was number three. The other years, I'm number six. I'm number seven. These lists are researchable. The people on social media, on the internet, feed into words. You feed into diction. You don't feed into facts. Another fact, a hard fucking fact, Cat Williams did not own all the specials. He trashes the white man. The white man owns your content. You don't own it. So Cat Williams don't own none no. of the specials? No! False! Is this False! Pro- is this provable? I am now... Coming to get my sister's ball that was kicked <laughs> over the fence. I think you got it. <laughs> I'm only saying this because of how you attack innocent people. Yes. Attack me. Once again, attack me. I got the armor. I'm bulletproof. Say it to me. I'm going to ignore it. I'm only doing this because of what was said about innocent people that are working hard on their craft. And Tiffany does have an hour stand-up special She's on Showtime two. from the hood to Hollywood. She's got two. <laughs> She's got two. Also, Netflix specials are not Netflix specials are not given by what you sell on the road. That's the most ridiculous shit I've ever heard in my life. That's not. Another fact. So it's not about tickets? No. What's that it's about? It's not about tickets. It's about your brand. It's about your, your return. Mm-hmm. If I'm a business and I want to invest a high amount of money in you, how am I getting my money back? Mm-hmm. Everybody can't demand the money if you can't justify how I'm getting my money back. Think business, people. Netflix is a business. All these announcements came out for the specials. I kept mine on the wraps just because. Netflix gave me $40 million. What? Whoa. This, is, this is a fact. We need better chairs. Listen. <laughs> yeah, we need fact. better chairs. And we need new laptops. I've we need laptops that. too, man. <laughs> and I would like an iPad. <laughs> Charging. A car if you feel like it. <laughs> I told you he bought a new house. house. My kids got to go to school. <laughs>